Hey guys, it's Carmela with Equine Helper, and I'm here with Trico today as my little sidekick. Today, I wanted to talk about how you can tell whether or not your horse is bored. So before we get started, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel for more weekly horse videos. So as horseback riders, in the beginning, it may be kind of hard to tell what your horse is thinking. You know, horses can't speak to us, so we have to learn how to read their body language in order to understand what's going through their minds. I thought I would share some of the body language I've noticed that most horses tend to demonstrate when they're bored. So one of my points on how to tell whether or not your horse is bored is that your horse will get easily distracted by other things. So just think if you're bored. I remember when I was in high school, I sat by the window in my classroom and I would get so bored in class, I would just look out the window and all of a sudden, whatever was outside that window became the most interesting thing for me to watch at that time. So horses are kind of like that bored kid in school, you know? Humans can get into such a routine, like we love routines and we love to work hard and practice, but the sad aspect about that is that usually that doesn't allow a lot of freedom for your horse in the way they think and like just to stimulate their mind. So just some examples of a distracted horse. If your horse is, you know, you're riding around and they just cannot stop winning for their friends, they're so easily distracted by wanting to be with their friends that they're not really focusing on what you're asking them to do. And a lot of horses can get like this if they become bored with the routine that they know the next thing that's coming, they'll just start looking for other things to think about rather than what you're working on. So a great way to help your horse not be bored in this situation is to try something different. One thing I know is that my horses are very good. You know, they tolerate and they behave well. But I get in this routine of thinking, okay, if I ride in the ring these two days of the week, that means I need to go out on the trails the other days. Just because I want my horse to continually be in a changing environment so they have to think and engage and so that their mind is challenged. Try something different. That's a great thing for them. Like if you've just been practicing flat work for the longest time, maybe add some trot pulls or some jumps to pop over. Maybe go out on a trail ride. Do something fun. Another way you can tell your horse is bored is if they don't have any energy behind their movements. And I've seen it in my own horses. They're, they're just trotting along, they're holding themselves, but their head is just kind of there and their eyes are just kind of glazed over and you can just tell they're not paying attention. And so horses get like this. So if you don't feel any like movement or I guess you'd say excitement in your horse's movements, they may be bored. So a great thing you can do to help them out with this and to make things interesting for them is to start doing a bunch of different things. Like you can start doing different transitions. You can start asking them to speed up and slow down. You can ask them to stop and then go straight into a canter or a trot and change direction keep changing up whatever you're doing anytime you suddenly feel your horse kind of it feels like they're just kind of go like this because what happens is when you like consistently asking them to change and like do something different then your horse is on their toes and suddenly they're like okay what's gonna be next and so they kind of have like that energy of what's gonna be next I'm ready for the cue and then you'll notice that their energy tends to pick up and then they feel like they're really carrying themselves correctly and pushing themselves forward and they're not dragging their feet anymore. So I find that that really helps my horses. Another way to tell that your horse is bored is that their response to your cues may seem like slow or dull. Because if you think about it, if you're not really paying attention and you're bored and someone's like, hey Carmela, I'll be like, what? And I feel like that's what a lot of horses are if they're bored and then you cue them to do something different, they're like, so um, something I've found that really helps if a horse is slow to response like this is I get off and I do groundwork. Groundwork is a great way to, number one, it changes things up for your horse. Suddenly go from a rider to on the ground and they're like, oh, this person's on the ground. So that automatically makes it more interesting for them. Groundwork is the foundation for training. And so when you start asking your horse to do things on the ground, you're kind of going back to the beginning and making sure they're responding quick and making sure they're focusing. When you do groundwork, you know, you're working a lot on getting the horse to respect your space, getting your horse to respond correctly. And so you're really getting the horse to focus and pay attention. And so their cues will just naturally become more responsive. So then that correlates when you get back into the saddle, hopefully their cues will be more responsive, their mind will be engaged again, and you can go on your way. Okay, another way you can tell that your horse is bored is that the horse may start to act up when put in a certain situation. And I've learned this from lesson horses. <laughs> 
Okay, when I was taking lessons, I remember there was this lesson horse. Lessons can be monotonous for a horse because they're basically just toting a rider around the ring and um, if it's a horse that's used for beginner lessons, the beginner lessons are usually the same thing in terms of walk, trot, you know, it can be very kind of monotonous for them. And so this horse was a beginner lesson horse and it got to the point where anytime the horse was supposed to go in the riding ring, the horse didn't want to go in there and it would start to, you know, kick out or throw a fit and not want to go in there. So what the trainer did, which was really interesting, is she took the, the beginner lesson horse and put an advanced rider on it, not so that the advanced rider could get it in the ring, but so that the advanced rider could take it in the ring and canter and do jumps and just do a bunch of different things that this beginner lesson horse wasn't used to doing all the time. This horse went from associating the arena with some boring routine. When this other rider got on, the horse started to associate the ring with Ooh, fun, let's go do something fun. We're gonna go jump and canter and it's gonna be different and it's gonna be great. So if you have a horse that starts to act up in a certain situation, like going in a riding ring or just something where it's like a very routine kind of a thing, just change it up, try and make it fun for them. Like this horse that didn't wanna go in the ring learned that the ring could actually be fun. And so after that, the horse would go right in there. So just things like that. If your horse is trying to throw a protest over things, I mean, yes, that's bad behavior. The horse shouldn't be doing that. But there's also a reason that the horse is doing it and it's trying to communicate something to you. Instead of just correcting the bad behavior, why not just make life better for the horse and give the horse something fun to do? The truth is, when it comes down to it, I've learned that if my horse is having fun, the ride's just gonna be so much better. Cause I truly want my horse to enjoy what we're doing. If there's no fun in it for my horse, then I don't even wanna ride, you know? And so you gotta think of it kind of like that. It's like, there's this partnership when it comes to horseback riding and you have to make sure your horse is enjoying it as much as you are. And when that happens, your ride is great and it's awesome. So I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel for more weekly horse videos. Draco's never bored. Trico baby. Can you all see it? There we go. It's Trico. It's Trico. Hey, don't let